my name is Natalia, this is Crafting with Natalia and um, welcome to my channel if you're here for the first time and welcome back if you're here again. Uh, I'm so happy to see all of you, whether you are a first time viewer or whether you are a returning viewer, it's always so nice to have you here. Uh, so yes, so welcome. Now this is um, a bit of a chaotic video. <laughs> I know already it's going to be chaotic because it was not planned for, it was not prepared for, and it's really, um, well, I'm recording it for, I don't know how many reasons, um, definitely at least two reasons, <laughs> maybe more reasons. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, probably more. So reason number one is I haven't recorded my March update, so it's been a while now, so now is mid-April, it's 13th of April today. And I haven't recorded anything since, um, well, after February ended. So my February update was my last video. So it's been a while. Um, reason number two, um, I've had a hard day. <laughs> and I need something to distract me and to cheer me up. So I thought, why not? Uh, my husband's gone somewhere else. So I've got a flat to myself. And... Um, and I don't have to do anything else right now, which also hasn't happened in a long time. So I thought, okay, I have no excuse. Um, so I can actually record something. Reason number three is I received a box in the mail um, just a couple days ago, which I really wanted to share with you guys because it was sent to me by a company to share with my viewers. Uh, so I didn't want to delay that as well. So that's now three reasons to record. Reason number four is I really want to catch up with you guys um, because I've been missing you. <laughs> um, and I guess I've accumulated so much progress um, that, well, progress. Well, I've accumulated so, mu so many updates that, you know, it's going to be harder and harder to record the longer I wait. But the problem with me recording now is that, as I said, I haven't prepared. Um, so really, I don't quite know what I will be talking about. <laughs> <laughs> fully <laughs> I've just kind of gathered lots of stuff around me and I'm hoping I will figure it out um, and um, yeah and I haven't prepared any of my lovely slideshow as I did for the you know the past couple of updates I was trying to be good and keep all my slides I don't have that ready today um, it's also kind of middle of the month so I don't really know what to do uh, because it's not like the end of the month video and I missed my last end of the month video so so this is going to be an unofficial kind of <laughs> video where I may show you some things and maybe not show you everything necessarily because I am also a little bit tired so I would want to keep it on the shorter side if possible so I think I'll just pick a few things to show you um, just so we can catch up a little bit um, and yeah just, just, to, just to say hello really Sorry, I keep looking at this side of the screen where I am because I feel like maybe it's a bit dark and I don't know if I should put the light on. Um, let me try it actually. I will see if it makes it any better. Okay, I don't know if this is better. I think it may be a little bit better. <laughs> Sorry, there's a lot of beeping going on outside. Uh, I live in London. Uh, London is full of, um, well, traffic and impatient um, beeping drivers. Um, there's also lots of ambulances going on this road, so you may hear an ambulance. It happens a lot in my videos. Um, so yes, apologies for any background noise. But it is quite a warm, sunny day. Um, well, like the, the first warm and sunny weekend really we've had this year in London. So, <laughs> you know, time to celebrate. I'm actually wearing short sleeves. I can't believe this. Um, this like hasn't happened this year yet. So, you know, it, and this flat gets quite warm. So I, I wanted to open the windows. So apologies for any extra noise. Um, and now a couple, yes, yeah, so, so I will share the things that I don't want to forget about first. So one thing is that I, I know in my previous couple of videos, I announced a giveaway, giveaway winner. So because this person has not contacted me for two months now, uh, so I have drawn another winner. And uh, the winner is actually a lovely, lovely um, viewer of mine, uh, also a friend, um, uh, a friend who has been with me since, like, uh, pretty, pretty much since I ever started my channel, which was first all about diamond painting, um, which now I barely ever do. Um, 
but um but yes yeah, so so this viewer i'm I'm very very happy actually <laughs> so i love it when my giveaway well i mean i love i love when my giveaways go anywhere but also it's so nice when you know when you really like some some of my viewers i know much better than others basically because i just have much more contacts through like personal messaging or chats or something you know or seeing them at the retreats or something and it's just uh, you know always nice to be able to put a face uh, to the person. So this person, her name is Louise and Louise lives in Canada and uh, she won this giveaway now. Uh, it's going to go to Canada. Um, it's this uh, little star, um, basically like an embroidery star that you can, um, like a felt felt embroidery star, you, you put it together, you, you embroider it. It's like a kit basically. I'm not explaining this very well but it's a kit I made one over Christmas. It was in my Christmas video, and that's actually where this is, where this giveaway originated. And it still hasn't been sent. Uh, so now that we have a new winner, um, Louis, um, well, I may already have your address actually, but if not, I will contact you um, for your address, and then I will get it sent to you. Uh, so I hope you will enjoy making this star. Okay, so that's the happy news. Now my other happy news is I got a box. As I said, I got a box in the mail. Dum -da -da -da. And boxes are very exciting things, especially when you don't have to pay for them. Because <laughs> I do pay for a lot of stuff. I mean, I, I buy a lot of stuff and then, you know, I feel guilty when I see all these boxes coming. I'm like, oh no, I've ordered too much stuff again. But this one came for free. It was a gift from the company I had to share with you guys. And um, this is, so if you've watched me for a few months, you would have seen at the end of the year, I received an advent calendar box from Historical Sampler, Sampler Company. And I was stitching over Christmas, let me try and insert picture here. Uh, I was stitching this advent calendar from Historical Sampler Company. And so that was a very nice collaboration basically I did with them well I don't know if you can call it collaboration but they sent me stuff I stitched it and I shared it on Instagram and on YouTube um so I guess it's some sort of <laughs> I don't know what you call it but um it was fun and um you know and I got there was a whole like advent box with all the different treats for every day so that was really fun to open them every day and now they sent me basically their new stitch along so wait I made notes Oh, that's why my notebook was on the floor. I was wondering why did I put my notebook on the floor? Now I know. It's because I had these notes. So, historical sampler company, Stitch Along, starts on the 13th of May. 13th of May. Uh, Pre-orders open on the 15th of April. So that's two days from now. I'm not even sure if this video will be posted. <laughs> so by the time this video goes up, probably the, the pre-orders would have already opened. Um... What does this say? <laughs> I can't read my own handwriting. It's just like, I'm just, oh, I've got really bad handwriting. And then if I don't try, then it's really, really bad. Four parts. Four parts released every two weeks. Okay. And you can either order just the stitch along kit. Possibly. I don't know if you can just order the chart. Maybe you can also just order the chart. I'm not sure about that. But definitely you can you can order either just stitch along kit. Or you could also get get, get it in the, with a gift box. Like this. And the gift box will contain lots of different goodies. To go with your kit. And so I got the full package. Um, which I feel very spoiled about. Like and privileged to have been offered that but well I was feeling kind of bad because I already have so many projects and I and I basically told them I don't think I will be able to keep up with the stitch along I can start it <laughs> uh, but they say it's okay they said I don't have to finish it within the time basically I can just post about it and they will still be happy so I said okay then why not why not get free stuff um now I'm trying to figure out how to open this here. Okay, so this is such a lovely box, by the way. I love the print on it. Really cool. Yeah, it's, it's good nobody nicked it because uh, recently there has been a package stealing person or people going in my building. I've had one parcel. Fortunately, they don't ever st st steal cross stitch stuff. <laughs> But I had one parcel of clothes and they actually, they well, they took the whole thing. 
but I saw some other, basically one other of my parcels was left open uh, because the drivers just drop it off by the main entrance to the building where, you know, sometimes they drop it here by the door, but sometimes it's just by the main entrance. And then that's the thing, one of my parcels was opened, um, but nothing was taken out. So I figured they didn't want it. I think it was from Woolworths. <laughs> So they probably looked at all the yarn and like, okay, no, no we're not taking that. Um, but yeah, I've seen somebody else's parcel opened as well. So I think there's something going on. Definitely something going on. Uh, but anyway, so fortunately, this one was dropped by my door and nobody stole it. So that's good. Oh, look at this. Isn't that pretty? Pretty, pretty. Ooh. Now, I should really be also taking pictures for Instagram, so I'm trying to be gentle when I unpack this. So I can take a picture later. Whoa. So this stitch along, I should have said as well, is designed by Emma Congdon from Stitch Rovia, uh, who is a very popular cross stitch designer. I have personally never stitched anything from her, but um, almost everybody else on YouTube does. Uh, so I'm sure you would have seen her stuff or maybe you are stitching some of her stuff. Let me know if you are. Okay. So the stitch along title is do more of what makes you happy. And that's just what we need in life, don't we? Oh, that smells nice. This box smells really nice. What is it? Is it this thing? I think it's this. Um, yeah, sorry. Uh <laughs> <laughs> do, do more of what makes you happy. No, do more. Yeah, do more of what makes you happy. That's the title. That's a very pretty envelope. Oh, sticky. Sticky, sticky, sticky. <gasps> oh, yes. For this stitch alone, they have options. Either you can get it with Ada. 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 I, I forgot how to how to talk um or you can get it with linen i went for the linen option because i was curious about the linen because i thought all the previous well i've i've only ever had two kits from historical sampler company but they only had ada option they didn't have linen option so i was curious about the linen uh, so i picked linen and it's this um i think it's just white potentially antique white no maybe it's just white i'm not sure a uh, very nice piece of. Hmm. Oh, I can't tell. Is it 32 or 28? Does it say? Oh, there's a needle. It's very important. I'll put it on my table. Um. I don't know. I once I start stitching, I will know. But I struggle to judge it based just on the linen. I will know from how big my stitches are if it's 28 or 32. I think it may be 32, but I'm not sure. And it didn't say, well, basically the person, is it Suzanne? I think it's Suzanne. The person who sends out these kits from Historical Sampler Company. She just asked me if I want Ada or linen and she didn't state the count. And I just said linen, so I'm not so sure. Um, these are the thread colors. I should have actually done it on top of the linen because that looks really pretty. Look guys, very pretty colors. Very rainbowy, very happy. Ooh la 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 la. Beautiful. Beautiful colors. Yes. Uh, so yeah, I'm quite excited about these colors actually. I've seen, I've seen some sneak, peek, sneak peeks. <laughs> sneak peeks. Um, and I will insert a picture here of a sneak peek, uh, so you can see as well. Uh, what I will do, I will link the link to the stitch along in the description below the video, so you can check it out yourself. And I will also link their Instagram account, uh, so that you can check them out on Instagram. And they also have a group on Facebook for stitch alongs if you'd like to join. Um, other things that are in the gift box. Mm -hmm. Very nice. There's this lovely, 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 like a little bag from Paper Poetry. 20 by 15 centimeters. Rico design, okay. 
So maybe it's not, I don't know, maybe it's called paper poetry, but it's from Rico Design. I don't know. Uh, but it's this lovely bag. Very pretty. It matches my flowery dress, look. <laughs> that should be my, um, what do you call it? Thumbnail. <laughs> I need a thumbnail. Right, okay. Um, what else? You get a lollipop. Like a chocolate one. White chocolate. I love white chocolate. But also I'm trying to lose weight and <laughs> that's not going to work very well. But anyway, um, who doesn't love white chocolate? I mean, some people don't, but um, but I do. I love white chocolate. So you get a white chocolate lolly. I mean, I need to put this back in because I'm starting to take my picture for Instagram. So I'll put it back in here. You get this sort of ornament. A handmade product of sheep wool made by human hands. <laughs> that's, that's in... Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Right. Um, uh, so that <laughs> that's now spinning like crazy. Oh my goodness! I told you this video was going to be chaotic. Um, nothing good can come out of this video. But um, just just I don't know. Let's just have fun, guys. Right? This is what it's all about. Um, it's like a little cottage that's handmade <laughs> by human hands. Um, I think it's made of felt. Uh, with it's like embroidered felt it's interesting it's very interesting i would say um so that's it so that's the little ornament that you can i guess hang up somewhere um you've got oh oh yes i don't i was thinking but there's not enough stuff here but i've i think i may because you know i don't use floss drops they're very pretty though very pretty. Um, I may give them away at some point, but maybe together. I was thinking like of doing like a small giveaway. Um, but I don't know if I have enough stuff to give away right now. Maybe I should add something else. So maybe it's not going to be today. Um, but also there's this thread gloss. And you know what? I, I highly doubt I'm going to use it as well. I'm a very simple girl old girl uh, <laughs> I don't know but um, I have one thread uh, what do you call it thread it's not a wax but it is like a wax it's, it's sort of like this thing that I have that I bought from Mrs. Sedas and I've used it about two times probably incorrectly and then I got bored with it and so it's sitting somewhere somewhere in my basket and I haven't used it for over a year yet so uh, chances are I will never use this if it was lip gloss I would but it's thread gloss so so I think these two things I will keep for a giveaway also potentially this too <laughs> because I don't know what to do with the little house so maybe this will be a giveaway but I feel like I want to keep the bag so I don't know well, unless I give away the bag too. Maybe I should make like a package that give away all these things. I don't know. Let me think about this. Today I haven't decided because this video wasn't very thought through. Clearly I have no idea what I'm doing in this video. So today I'm not organizing any giveaway. Um, but um, I may in the next video. Maybe. So um, yeah. Don't know. Come back. Come back to check. Am I going to do a giveaway? What is going to be in the giveaway? Huh? Right. As you can see, I'm in a very weird mood. I've had a hard day. I've had a, a weird few weeks. I've been very busy, very, very busy. Lots going on. And that's why also why I haven't recorded is because I just honestly didn't have time to first of all prepare for the video and to, to actually record and then to edit and post it. So this is the first weekend. I feel like I actually have some time to myself. Still, you know, I've, I may keep the editing to minimum and just post whatever. I don't know. Because <laughs> this really wasn't planned. Um, so, but that's the reason why I haven't recorded. Uh, it's not because I've gotten lazy. It's just I've had other things going on. Um, hmm. So I don't know. So right now, did I tell you everything 
I don't know about the stitch along. If you have any questions, please do just drop me a comment in the box below. Also, my email address is always under the video. It's craftingwithnatalia at gmail.com. It's very simple. So you feel free to email me any questions if you're not sure about anything. But I think this is really all I wanted to say. I don't know. Thank you so much to Historical Sampler Company for sending me this lovely box. Um, it is really nice and um, I love it. I love it and I'm looking forward to stitching the kit. Uh, the colors look lovely. Um, yes, I think it's going to be a fun fun thing to do for sure. Okay. Um, what else? So now, now, yeah, now really I don't know what I'm doing. I've stitched on a lot of things. I've actually, that's the only thing I did before this video because, you know, I thought, so I had this random, random uh, kind of thought, okay, I'm going to record something this afternoon, uh, but it was already like 3 p.m. when I thought about this and I had nothing prepared and I'm like, okay, I may try, initially I thought I was going to prepare some slides, but then I was, it's going to take me too long. And then I'm not actually going to have time to record. It's going to get dark. I mean, it's already... Well, I don't know why it's so dark. It's it's actually bright outside, but it's dark here. And I don't have a ring light and I don't have space for the ring light. So that's not going to happen. Um, probably if I move my camera and make it brighter, should I try it? I don't know. Let me try it. I think it's a little bit brighter, but also I think it's going to get darker again because that's what my camera does. It's bright at first and then it gets all dark and I can't explain it. So anyway, so the only thing that I actually managed to check before the start of this video and before I've given up on preparing the slides <laughs> was the total number of projects and the total number of stitches that I've stitched since I last saw you. So that was been like, what, six weeks? Something like that. And I've lost this. Oh, okay, here it is. I've stitched... So noisy. I've stitched on the total of 15 whips since I last saw you. That's a lot. And the total number of stitches I've done is 14,518. Now, take the exact number with, with a little bit of a pinch of salt because I do lost count. But this is what I counted. <laughs> I, don't know, I, I, I don't know. Oh my goodness, who is doing this motorbike thing? Like, honestly, just... These people are so noisy. It's very frustrating. They just drive around just, just to make noise. Nothing else. Okay. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Where was I? <laughs> As you can see, I'm losing my patience today. <laughs> I just need to relax. Um, 14,518 is what I counted. It may not be the right number, but it is what I officially stated is. So how can you know if it's right or wrong? I don't know. Um, now I'm not going to show you all 15 whips. No way. Because already I'm tired and I don't want to spend too much time editing and posting this video. So I want to keep it to minimum. So I think I'm just going to pick something interesting to talk about um which is what i don't know i've got i've kind of piled bits of everything around here one thing i can show you maybe oh maybe i can start with i i had some new starts <laughs> i had a few new starts because why not why not so should i start with the new starts and i'm not going to show you all of them I'm just going to show you the ones that I feel like showing you right now. I'll pick this one and I'll pick um, that one. Mm, okay. And that's not a new start. Oh, that's a new start. Okay. Right. That's my smallest new start, but also the one I stitched on the most. And clearly I still have hanging thread. Let me just put it in the back so that I... Oh. I don't want to forget. I know why I've left it here. There was a reason. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it. <laughs> okay. What is this? You, I hear you ask. What is this? Mm. The title of this project 
is Dreaming of Carrots. Now, I'm very unprepared for this video, <laughs> so you're gonna have to bear with me. And uh, for some projects, I may just put the details on the screen um, because I just can't remember them right now. But I remember that the title of this one is Dreaming of Carrots, and I don't know why it's so wonky. <sighs> okay, it's just all, all over the place. It's like stretched here, here, very wonky. Okay. Here we go. So, well, I should, I haven't prepared the slides. I'm thinking either I will make a slide and put it here so that you can see with the project title, the designer and the picture. Um, or I will just be lazy and I'll just put the picture of what the design should look like on here. The designer is on Etsy and it's called, they're called um, Needle Lot Designs. And they've got lots of really nice small projects, very, very cute designs, all, all very small, uh, but nice and colorful, very cute. Um, I would recommend that you, you check them out. Um, I follow them on Instagram and every time they post, I'm like, oh, I love this one. I love this one. They've got also like a little dragon that I think Fiona is stitching. I think so, but she's probably finished it already, but I'm, I'm not very, very active on Instagram these days. So basically i i open instagram and i check the first few posts and then usually i find something that i click on and then it sends me to another website and i forget all about what i was looking at but um i do like my my favorite people always come up first so i do see posts from fiona <laughs> and i remember seeing that dragon but i don't know if she may have finished by now um let me know fiona if you finished it but anyway it's a uh, needle lot designs and so this is what it should be. You've probably seen it now. And this is where I am. Mm. So it's a bunny. It's a bunny on the moon. Like this. So I've got quite a lot done on this one. Um, I'm stitching it on 16 count Ada in navy blue. As you can see, it's still in the hoop. So I was obviously planning to come back to it and I never did. I stitched the carrots because oh yes oh, that's something I can tell you about today um so I am in whip warriors which is like a closed group they only open at the end of the year so you can't rejoin them now but they do lots of stitchy games and it's kind of fun actually I've, I'm enjoying it more now than when I first joined them and the first I thought it was just gonna be very confusing but actually I'm quite enjoying the group now but yeah they're not open now for joining uh, but um Oh my goodness, I'm just having like a brain freeze. Like, um, what's her name? <laughs> oh my goodness, Laura, 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 Laura from Stitching on the Shore. Uh, she has a Facebook group, um, which is much more informal. So you don't have to really, you don't even have to post if you don't feel like posting. Uh, but she does these challenges. And I think you don't even have to have Facebook because she posts them on her YouTube community page as well. I will link uh, Laura below. So she does these monthly I spy challenges now where you have 10 prompts and you just have to find something in your project um, that fits with the prompt and you stitch on it for however many stitches you want, um, basically. Uh, so for example, you can pick you want to do 200 stitches for each prompt. And she had in March, uh, she had a prompt of something Three, three, <laughs> three, number three of something. Um, so I thought there was three carrots. Uh, so because there was three carrots, so I stitched the carrots for that. So that was fun. Um, and then there's the moon. And yeah, the bunny is not filled in yet. Uh, so I just have the contour and a little bit of the inside, but he's not filled in. Uh, but anyway, so that's the bunny. Um... I don't know what else to say. So that's one new start. I haven't stitched on the bunny in April yet. I don't think. And bunny lives currently in Editor's bag. Because it's a uh, because it's nice and well it's small, so it fits fits very well in it. And um it's green like spring, and bunnies are spring, so I think that works. Start number two. 
How many did they say I was gonna show? I, I thought there was. Oh yes, oh yes, four. So yeah, I'm gonna show you. Maybe that's all I'm gonna show you. I don't know yet. Maybe there's gonna be more. Start number two is a dragon because I'm well. I've got two dragon starts because uh, it's a dragon year, and in dragon year you should have dragon starts, shouldn't you? Uh, so I now have the total of three dragon starts for this year plus one dragon whip. Maybe I should show you my dragon whip too. Three dragon starts, one dragon whip. So that's four dragons. No, I have four dragon starts. So I've got five dragons, but one is kind of, I'm not sure about it. So that's why I forgot about it even. It's like, it's like I started it, but I'm not so sure. So yeah, so four and a half. <laughs> um, so yeah, so anyway, lots of dragons and there's going to be more, definitely more dragons coming this year so i'm sure you're aware already there's the year of the dragon sal going on from samantha from hugi stitcher and from erica from fiber and floss canada i think potentially that's wrong but i will link them all below as usual and so year of the dragon uh, sal and year of the dragon as in, it is a year, year of the dragon. <laughs> These things have both inspired me <laughs> to stitch on dragons. And um, also, <laughs> I wanted to have a start. Well, <laughs> I was chatting to Lizzie, Lizzie Fisher. Um, Lizzie Fisher on YouTube. I think that's her channel name. I think we established it last time. <laughs> and I will probably still get it wrong. But I will also link Lizzie's channel underneath. So Lizzie... Um, Oh my goodness, I tell you these people are... <sighs> That's the thing about spring, it gets very noisy in spring. Because so I've got all the win windows open. Okay, anyway. Lizzie is doing a very clever course at the university because Li Lizzie is a very clever person. And she's doing like statistics, whatever, masters, crazy stuff. And so she was celebrating the fact that her coursework was going really well. I think um, I think she had some very, you know, she managed to complete everything and she had good grades and stuff. So she had a celebratory new start. And I said, oh, I feel even like having a celebratory new start for you. I didn't start anything straight away, but then I really wanted to start this the same month. And I'm like, oh, actually this, I think Lizzie would enjoy this one. So I am dedicating this new start to Lizzie. So this is, uh, I mean, it doesn't look like anything, right? <laughs> but I will again show you here um, what it's meant to look like. So it's a rainbow dragon, a rainbow dragon. Um, and so I had this fabric for a long time that I was meant to use for something else. And then I never started it and it was just sitting in my box. And I decided, okay, this is the fabric to do it on. Uh, so I picked this fabric. It's a 28 count something. I don't know. I was meant to keep it, keep the tag. Did I not keep the tag? Clearly not. It's from Paul Stitches. I'm not sure if I will ever deduce what, what fabric exactly it is. I will try my best. Because mm, I feel like I've put the tag in a place so that I can always find it. <laughs> this always goes well. Um, <laughs> but anyway, it's a nice fabric from Paul Stitches. Um, and yes, and so far I've just stitched a lot of yellow and pink, but look how gorgeous it looks. <laughs> so, this is the star. Obviously, it's only just the arms of the star, it's not filled in. But this is the, the hand, the hand, the paw of the dragon. Um, and this is like his arm. And I'm not sure what this is, I forgot. Uh, but anyway, his head will be somewhere here, I think. So that's what I have so far. Isn't that... Like, the colors are so pretty. I love them so much. Beautiful colors. Yeah. So it is quite rainbowy. Um, obviously, there's going to be also, like, purples and blues and greens. Like, there's a whole rainbow in the dragon. Uh, right now, I just have yellows and oranges and pinks but i think it already looks awesome and i i really love this fabric too 
it's such a such a pretty fabric I like fabrics from Paul Stitches I have to say you can go out and get so I think did it take a long time if you if you order like a custom die as these things always take a long time but you can on Etsy get ones that have already been dyed so they're ready to ship and these come very quickly these come like within two days in the UK obviously from ordering um, so that's a really good place to get fabrics from if you're desperate for a fabric to come quickly um start should i show you my other dragon start because that's more exciting than what i was going to show you now i saw this kit on was it instagram i don't know where i saw it but as soon as I saw this picture, I was hooked. I was like, I have to have it. And then I didn't order it straight away because I saw the price. And I was like, okay, I have to have it, but not now. <laughs> but then I found it much cheaper on art and designs. It was much cheaper than any other place I could find it in. It was almost like half price. I was like, okay, I'm just going to... And they only had one in stock. So I was like, okay... <laughs> let's go so i ordered that from arts and designs that's their sticker um anyway um i think it's upside down isn't it but anyway i can i can flip it because it's kind of half open and everything's gonna fall out but it's a kit from mareka some people say mareshka but as far as i know it's a polish well at least they sell they make their kits and sell from poland so unless they're owned by people from a different country who sell these from Poland, then yeah, it says made in Poland. Um, in Poland, we would not say Mareczka, we would say Mareka. So I'm going to say it the Polish way, Mareka. So it's a lovely company, by the way, and I'm not just saying it because I'm Polish. They have really nice kits. Um, I finished in the past one that I really, really loved, um, the rooster and the hens. And it was like one of my, one of my favorite projects to work on. And um, their charts are very easy to read. Threads come like this. It's so kind of similar to, uh, for example, Luca, Luca S. has very similar ones. But they're just DMC threads as well. They don't give you numbers on here. Well, I'm sure you could probably match them up if you have a stash of DMC. If you have like a color card of DMC, you could probably match them up. Um, and if you want, if you run out and wanted to buy more or something. So yes, they just DMC threads. Um, the symbols are very clear. Um, the charts are big and they've got like overlap on the edge. So they're nice to, to switch from one page to the other. So I have very good experience with them. So I would recommend. So anyway this is a picture uh so i've been reading um the fourth wing um and i i'm loving it um i know it's not for everyone but i'm i'm really enjoying it and i don't know this kind of it's put me the fourth wing put me in the mood for like when i saw this picture i was like oh yes like this is so cool um and it's like nothing else that i would normally stitch like this is not my typical thing to stitch so yeah so a bit unusual for me um but i think this is going to be so beautiful it's also got beads where are they oh, i think i've put the beads in the <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is a theme i think i put the beads in a place that i will never lose them <laughs> now <laughs> one day i'll have to remember what that place was <laughs> Uh, but there's like a little packet of beads not in here are they not? I don't think so I think I've put them somewhere anyway oh no they are here oh maybe I didn't put them in the place I would never lose them because I was worried I was going to forget what the place was uh, but also the, I am going to lose them if I'm just going to leave them here so I need to figure out where to put the beads and not forget what they're for <laughs> um but yeah, I think this will be really cool. So I've started it. And I've stitched... Oh yeah, I, I haven't told you. I forgot I was going to tell you this. And now I forgot what I even showed you so far. So 
I've showed you the rainbow dragon. I'm just checking my spreadsheet. So the rainbow dragon, I stitched, so that was this one, uh, 749 stitches. Well, I stitched on him so far. Um, what else did I show you? Oh, the bunny. Oh, bunny was more. Bunny was... 1,352 stitches on the bunny. And now on this, this is called Pure Flame, by the way. Pure Flame. Um, so far, I've only stitched 614 stitches. Now, which way up is this? This doesn't look like anything, again, because it's a very big kit with a lot of stitches. But my 600 stitches is just a blob. But I started in the middle, so like here. So what you will see, let me try to put like this. Can you see where I am? <laughs> I don't have a third hand. If I had a third hand, I would show you. <laughs> I am like, I can't show you this, but I am here where his nose is and I have a little bit of his teeth. And that's it. Um, but this one's really fun. So I'm quite excited about that one. For sure. Okay. Um, so now, should I, for completion. Completeness? Completion? I don't know. Uh, should I show you my... My... Uh, <laughs> my um, other dragon whips because I have them here too and that way we can just like complete the the dragon theme so the main I mean this one I can just kind of flash very quickly show you I haven't done a lot on this one mm, where is it power of the dragon is he is called oh not too bad actually I did 488 stitches on him uh, so this is where I am um, he's from a magazine, a magazine which is currently um, elsewhere. <laughs> I don't know where the magazine is. It's it's in the basket. Should I go and grab it? Okay, I will grab it. Here. Yeah, this is him. How is that? <laughs> they are they're like mirror images. I just realized the picture in the magazine must be reversed and however you call it like a mirror image because clearly they don't match <laughs> um how weird i have never noticed this no <laughs> you know what i'm so confused i don't know why <laughs> So I thought, this is so weird, I thought that this was the other arm, like that this arm was this arm, but no, this arm is actually this arm, and this cloud is this cloud here, so they are not reversed or anything, they are doing much, but they look like they are, it's, I don't know, it's so weird, <laughs> it's really weird, it's because there's no head currently. Everything is good. So the head will be here and then everything will match. So that's my power of the dragon. Uh, this was designed by was it Susan Bates? Susan Bates. And it's in the cross stitcher magazine. That one. Issue 391. Cross stitcher magazine issue 391. In case if you would like to stitch it too. Ooh. <laughs> one second, guys. One second. I just remembered something. Where is it? Okay, okay. Give me a sec. Now, if this is your first time here, you will think I'm a complete nutter. Ooh. By now. You will not be wrong. Um, 
<laughs> uh, but today I'm extremely, um, this is me uh, completely losing my mind um, because I have been through emotional turmoil <laughs> before this video, uh, which I'm not going to go into because um, <laughs> half of it is um, legally questionable um, what uh, what's going on. <laughs> so I'm not going to broadcast it on that. <laughs> on this channel but anyway let's just say that um my family drama slash life drama saga continues and it seems to never be ending but as i was getting home as i got home and i was in my men mental disarray there was a box by my door and this now when i made this <gasps> sound is because I remember that there was a box by my door and the reason why I remember it is because I know what's inside and I got very excited about the fact that I got it and then I completely forgot that it was by my door. So now I've picked it up and um, again nobody stole it fortunately because this is something I'm very excited about and I'm just trying to open it and I don't know how to open this. This is very well glued, well taped. How do I open this? What's the magic way to open this box? Um, it's a box from Stitcher, Stitcher Magic. I'll show you. Oh, the, it's got my address on it. <laughs> Wait a sec, guys. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> there. Stitcher Magic. That's the sticker on the box. And it's got a project bag inside, which I just remembered about. Oh my god, I will never open this box, I swear. How do people do this? Life is so hard, guys, honestly. Like, even the box is against me right now. Ooh, it's because, like, everything is taped. Like, double taped. Ooh. I'm almost there. I swear I'm almost there. I mean, I can just cut this. But I kind of want you to to be part of this excitement. I didn't realize how big this was gonna be. Oh, the the thing, so this is again the company. Uh, she's on Etsy. I'm assuming it's a she. I don't know, but anyway, uh, they're on Etsy. I will link them underneath. Thank you for your order. It is very much appreciated. I can't read this now. <laughs> oh, yeah, I get a discount. Oh, that's nice. Happy stitching. Okay, that's very sweet. Oh, yes, it is her. I thought so. I didn't realize the bag was going to be so big. But if you watched my... Was it last, last video or last last video? You would have heard me say that I haven't found a dragon project bag. For my dragon projects like my year of the dragon projects no i've got a couple of projects well one that i've started i've just shown you this one and one that i haven't started yet uh from teresa wensler that is also like a chinese chinese dragon like you know the snaky kind of dragon and i really like these traditional chinese dragons i don't know why because well my husband says they look more like snakes you know and He's right, but I still, I really like their faces. I don't know, I think they're really cool. And so I wanted one, I wanted a bag with a Chinese dragon, but I couldn't find anything like that. So I go, I'm never gonna find one. And then this week, I'm on Etsy, right? Because what else do you do <laughs> if you're not on Etsy? And I was looking for some, maybe I was just looking for something else. I don't know, but I was not looking for this. But I found it. And it's from like, like literally she, her address is like in Cambridgeshire, so it's like, you know, not very far from me at all. Look, guys, this is so exciting. Okay. <laughs> Look, isn't this perfect? Isn't this perfect, guys? This is the most awesome project bag for the Year of the Dragon that I could have found. I swear. <laughs> So this is like embroidered she's got beautiful bags she has some with butterflies and one with, there was one like with a ship 
it was so beautiful but I I really couldn't I didn't want to spend any more money so I just bought one but I was so tempted guys so tempted so in the back this is what it looks like so it's got like these dragons I love these dragons and it's got like this little thing and um, yeah it's like vinyl in the front and um, isn't that perfect so I think I'm gonna put move my flosses for this dragon to this bag but also use it for my other dragon because I just have flosses really so I may just put all my flosses for dragons in here and I think that'll be awesome very excited very excited about this this will be for my Chinese dragons oh did I show you my last dragon I didn't this was meant to be a short video so I don't know should I show you my last dragon and should we should I stop or should I show you more stuff I don't know I'm not gonna edit this a lot honestly I'm just gonna keep it basic so my last dragon, I haven't made up my mind yet, but for now I'll show you him. I lost my board. You should see this place, it's a mess, it's a real mess right now, there's stuff everywhere. Whatever did I do with it? Can I use the box? The box is my new board. Oh yeah, you don't know what I'm showing you, right. Easter dragon. Now I've stitched both in March and in April, so it's some maths involved. In March I stitched 864 stitches. In April, so far, woo! Really? I stitched 908 stitches in April so far. So, what does it make? Make it 1700. 72 stitches maybe if my math is right likely it's wrong maybe i don't know it's something around 17 not seven se what did they say 1700 did they say 17,000? I, I don't know what i said <laughs> whatever i said it doesn't matter i did 900 plus 860 something right so that that's what the number was you do the maths if you want um easter dragon dum -dum -dum picture on the screen and if I do make a proper slide I will put the actual number of stitches on the slide I don't know if I will be bothered enough to do the slides probably not so it may just be a picture this is him um oh yeah I should have shown you like the last time you've shown it on last time I... <laughs> last time you've seen it <laughs> last time I've shown you um, but chances are I will not have energy to look for all these previous pictures so I don't know. You may see the last time or you may not see the last time. This is where he is now. I do like... Sorry, I went really silent because I'm just... My brain is now processing this. I do really like seeing the previous picture and comparing how much all these stitches added. And I have pictures I've taken for my challenges. So I may actually have one that I can find quite easily. So I will then put it here so you can compare what's before and what it is now. Now he is stitched on a clearly green fabric. <laughs> um, it is, I believe, from the size of my stitches, um, I believe this must be 18 count. Or a 16 count that has shrunk quite a bit. But I would bet, if I was to bet, but I don't bet, but if I was to bet, I would bet that it's 18 count, because it feels like 18 count when I'm stitching on it. I stitch with two threads on 18 count. I pretty much always stitch with two threads, so that's that's by default, really. Um, it's from River Hat Designs. Now, if I will have energy to link all these people <laughs> below, then I will link them too. <laughs> but this, this is already, already hard just thinking about all these links I'm going to have to find. But I will try my best to link everybody. Uh, River Hat Designs you can also find on Etsy, but I feel like they may have a website now. Did I see them have a website? 
potentially. If not, they're definitely on Etsy and they have lovely fabrics for affordable prices, really. Um, so this one, I don't know, it's like 50 by something, 50 by 50 or something. I don't know. It's not really a square, is it? But this piece of fabric, maybe it was like 12 pounds or something, but that was like a year ago. So it's probably gone up now. But yeah, it wasn't very pricey and it's hand dyed. Very nice. So yeah, so I wanted to stitch more on him this weekend because there's this challenge on Whip Warriors to stitch on something Easter, um, like a focus. So I thought I could fill in the egg and there's some green grass here that I could also fill in. So let me do that later. Okay, so there was one more new start that I was meant to share with you that I didn't and I just thought I would just quickly insert it in. Um, just because it was something I posted about on Instagram and I kind of suggested if anybody wants to join me um, now is the time because it's meant for spring really like well I started it on the first day of spring as my welcome spring project um, and basically what I'm stitching is a project from the Owl Forest Embroidery and it's called Golden Bees and I'll insert the picture here so that you can see what they look like. Um, but basically, well, it's all about bees. <laughs> and I, for me, spring is all to do with like the bugs coming back out. So like, you know, well, it's obviously the leaves as well and the flowers and whatnot. But also the bees and the butterflies and all sorts of funny little insects, you know, coming back out and flying around and buzzing around. That way you know, you know, it's spring. Um, so that was my spring start. And when I posted on Instagram, I kind of suggested if anybody wants to join in stitching something with bugs in it, <laughs> as it can be anything that's like, you know, an insect or like a butterfly or something, you know, something like that, uh, then, uh, you know, feel free to join me. I didn't make a hashtag. Um, if you have an idea for a hashtag and you want to create it, um, please feel free and tag me along. Uh, I don't know, something like spring bug sal or whatever. Uh, we can have like a little stitch along. Uh, but basically I've started my project and I just wanted to let you know guys that um, I know at least a couple other people are also stitching bug projects, um, you know, that have let me know on Instagram. Uh, so if you are too, then, you know, tag me as well. Let us know. And that you're also stitching and maybe at the end of the spring I will show everybody's bug project that I I've been you know if you let me know about it then I will collect them and show them in my video or something so why not yeah I may do that in May so yeah so basically yeah if you have a bug project like an insect butterfly whatever then um, let me know if you're stitching on it um, send me a picture or you know tag me in a picture or whatever but anyway, it's just all about having fun. But I just wanted to let you know about this. So that's why I'm inserting this here. So the golden bees, um, obviously, um, the owl forest embroidery threads are quite hard to get right now. Well, you have to pay quite a lot for shipping. So I don't have the original threads. Uh, I did my own conversion and I basically, well, I was at this um, stitching Essex day. Uh, like a day retreat uh, in Stansted and um, there was um, there was a seller there basically like a shop um, that you can buy online from them and they're called Manny's Mixed Bag Mixed Bag <laughs> I will link them below because I've forgotten what they're called um, but uh, they have all sorts of threads and I just picked this guy I picked a few threads I liked and I thought uh, from these threads I will be able to pick some to stitch with for this project and um, and so I put them together in the ring I'm not sure if I'm gonna use all of the ones that are here but that's the threads that I'm using um, so I'm using definitely the green um, this lovely gray so they mostly, um, are these, yeah, the gentle art and then some classic color works as well, but I don't know again, which ones exactly for the orange ones. I've used already this one. 
which is marmalade from classic color works um and then i i don't know i mean mix mix them up a little bit um and there's this lovely yellow this one a sunflower also from classic color works so it's like a mixture of threads and i'm stitching it on a linen a piece of linen i believe it's belfast so 32 count now don't ask me what color this is it could be could it be platinum hmm. it seems a little bit darker i'm not sure if this may be platinum um but it's this kind of dark cream beigey color but don't these threads look lovely on it i think they do um this is upside down just because i didn't realize it's upside down that way um yeah so again so this <laughs> never mind you've seen the threads already okay so this is the bottom b so i started in, did i start in the middle is this the middle must be this must be the middle i don't know and this is the bottom B from this, like four B's in a circle. So that's the bottom one. Uh, so that's what I have so far. And it's a total of 494 stitches. So I only stitched on it for two days. Mm. Um, and I think that's all I wanted to say. I just wanted to invite you all to Stitch Box for spring. Because why not? <laughs> yeah, I have another. I should really. That's what I want to do as well is to finish my honey makers. So I just need to do some other things first. But honey makers hopefully will be finished so that I can. I don't know. Maybe in May I'll do like a, a video with the finished honey makers and with all your guys' posts about your bugs. Um. Maybe some more progress on this one. Um, I may actually stitch my butterfly bookmark. That would also fit the theme. And who knows what else. Yes. Um, one more project I realized I forgot to talk about. is my aquarium project. But again, I'm really, really tired. So should I just show you very quickly, but no details. It's just for Lizzie. Really, Lizzie, if you're still there. I don't know. Are, are you there at all? Um, me and Lizzie Fisher are stitching the aquarium from Luca. Luca is. It's a kit. Uh, this one. Uh, so the kit is called the aquarium. The company is called Luca. So, oh, I can put the details here because I have them somewhere. Um, and I stitched a lot. I stitched 1,055 stitches. So this is where it is now. And if I find the previous picture, I will put it next next to it so that you can see how much progress I've made. Apologies for all the creases. It's not been ironed. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? I love the colors in this one. So I just wanted to show, um, especially for Lizzie, so that you can see where I am. Uh, Lizzie's got um, some stitching here, which I don't. like. On There's like a lily pad kind of plant here uh, so if you want to see that and then follow lizzie and watch her updates um yeah and uh i think i don't know i think this is it i'm really tired guys so i'm gonna stop here uh, i mean i don't know where i will insert this video but i recorded it after i've already finished my uh, my full video so <laughs> so i don't know anyway that's the end for me okay <laughs> see you later guys now okay let's do two more two more and then i'll let you go because i'm also tired but these are the two two ones that i i have something interesting to say about <laughs> so i'll do it so one is um my flag of albania there was like a challenge, there's another challenge group. Well, it's not really, it's not a challenge group, but there was a challenge in the non-challenge group. 
it was like an event basically the group is called it's going dark again isn't it like the, the screen has gone dark um but i don't know how to make it bright again sometimes it just brightens by itself clearly not in this instance um so anyway there was like basically a challenge over the weekend to to get some progress on one project and post every 200 stitches or something and i was working on the flag of albania for that because i needed to do some catching up on it and then as i was stitching so in the, the flag of albania looks like this uh, in case if you don't know it's basically a red flag with a big um double-headed scary looking eagle um a black one i don't know if i said he was black anyway you can see it uh, so he's black on the red background and that's what i was gonna do and i've been stitching the eagle right so the last time i don't know if again if i post the last time picture you will see it here but i had a bit of the a fair bit of the eagle done oh look it got bright again I really don't get how it works but <laughs> I had quite a bit of eagle done last time and now I was just going to continue on the eagle but as I was stitching on my black eagle I had this revelation right so the reason why I'm stitching flag of Albania even though I'm not Albanian is because my husband is Albanian and because Albanians are very patriotic people so his mom is Albania crazy his whole family loves Albania uh, it's, it's all, you know, <laughs> they're very excited about being Albanian. Um, so so I wanted to stitch a flag for them, right? And also the Polish flag is really boring. Uh, like we don't have the eagle in the flag. Uh, we have eagle as a emblem, but it's not in the flag. So yeah, I don't know why. Uh, so it's just the Polish flag is just, I'll put it here, it's just white and red. That's it. Um, I mean... It's quite boring to stitch, isn't it? But then I had this thought. Yes, the Polish is white and red. The Albanian is only red with the eagle. I am married to my husband who is Albanian. I am Polish. What about I make the flag like a combined Polish and Albanian? So I, I did like some test stitching because I realized I'm stitching on white fabric. So this may be problematic. But I basically, I looked up as well what other people are doing with other flags and a lot of people are stitching on light fabric and the actual like, color for white that's being stitched is actually 600, uh, 762, which is like this grayish kind of white, uh, yeah, like grayish white. And I thought, I'm going to try it out. So I did like a little patch. I'll show you what I mean. So this is my eagle. Um, so I got to one of the heads and then I did like a test patch of the white if I wanted to make the top half of the flag white and just leave the bottom red. So then it's like Albania married with Poland and I thought that was so cool. Uh, so that's what I want to do and I think this is going to be fine. Um, because you can still see that this is stitched um, and when you have a big big patch like you can't maybe see all the details in it so well but close up you will still see them and then you will obviously still see all the red in the bottom so I think I'm gonna do it I think I'm gonna do the top half of the flag in white well in 762 and the bottom in red and I'm quite excited about this idea so that's something that I want to try and get some more stitching done on so that's the eagle and the last project I wanted to share with you for now <laughs> is the love is here sampler from a designer oh yes I should have said the flag all the flags are designed by Vivsters. So Vivsters have their own website. Well, it's um, Vivian Powell is the designer. Um, her company name is um, Vivsters. And she's got an Etsy shop, but also she has her own website. So you can find all her products on her website as well, which I will link below. 
Um, what did I want to say? Oh yes, and the eagle, the number of stitches I got in on eagle, eagle, uh, eagle. <laughs> um, Quaker flags. Oh yes, that's also what I wanted to say. It's part of a style. Stitch along, a uh, Quaker flag stitch along. So you can you can if you find a hashtag on Instagram. 2024 Quaker Quaker flag style. You can see everybody's posts. Um, so people are stitching all sorts of different flags, mainly the UK, Australia, um, the US, but you see all sorts of other flags as well. Uh, and you can even request a flag. And I believe now the rule is if more than, like if at least two people request it, then it's going to be designed. Um, so I stitched 1038 stitches on the eagle in March. I didn't stitch on it yet in April. And I'm stitching it on 40 count verdal, verdal? Yeah, so 40 count even weave, basically, just in white. Okay, last and then I'm done because I'm really tired, guys, now. Love is here sampler. I can't remember the designer's name, so I will have to put it on the screen, I think. Oh, I may have it in my presentation from February. Let me check, guys. Oh, Studio HMP on Etsy. I can actually insert this whole slide in here. It's ready. I'll just stick it in. I should have done it for the dragon as well. Clearly, I'm very slow today. Very slow. <laughs> anyway, so Love is Here sampler. Uh, you can see all the details. Um, it's stitched on a 32 count Murano in something that looks like lavender. Um, so I've changed all of the colors. So basically I'm not, I'm just stitching my own version. Oh my goodness, guys. Beep, beep. All right. Um, this project in March took a lot of my time drove me to insanity almost ended in the bin <laughs> but my dear husband said no don't put it in the bin <laughs> like don't give up yet because i believe in you you can find a way to make it work <laughs> and i'm like i think just throwing it out is the simplest solution to all of this i told you it's a lot of beeping isn't it well okay <laughs> um as you can see, I get very distracted by sounds. Um, so, yes, so it almost ended in the bin, but then it didn't, thanks to my dear husband. He's not here, but thank you, husband. Last time I showed you, now I can insert maybe even this slide that I have here. If I'm lazy, I'll just insert the slide from last month. <laughs> um, I had quite a bit stitched. And it looked really, like, promising. But I didn't realize. And none of you guys realized either. Because nobody told me <laughs> how wrong it was. <laughs> like, like, it was so wrong. <laughs> My goodness. It didn't look anything like what it should look like. So, basically. I was stitching my house. And I... I was almost done with the house, which is a lot of stitching, right? That, that The house is a lot of stitching. And I stitched the whole house. And... I think, I don't know how, what, what I was going to do. When I realized that something is not right. Like, I was probably going to stitch the border. I don't know. And the border was really far from the house. I was like, why is the border so far from the house? What goes in this gap between the border and the house? And then I looked at the picture. Nothing goes because there is no gap between the border and the house. There's like a two-stitch gap or something. In my case, there was a huge gap. And I was like, oh, oh no. Oh, this is not looking good. And then I thought I found the error. I mean, I found an error. And I thought, oh, okay, if I fix that, then I will fix everything. 
but that involved a lot of frogging like it was so much frogging so i was frogging 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 it was really painful because i basically had to unfrog a lot of like all of the top border that i stitched and i think yeah i i can't remember all of the details of the sequence of events but when i unfrogged stuff and i stitched the stuff again to make it work then i realized it's still not right it was it was different wrong but it was still wrong because i think that that was my thought that if i restitch the borders I, the border i will fix it but whatever i did it didn't fix it it took me all day but it was still wrong and then i realized there was another error now let me explain i made the same error twice in two different places <laughs> it's quite it's actually really impressive but my first error was this little star <laughs> This is a lesson for everybody here. Please always count when you when, when you stitch a new element. Count it many times that it's definitely in the right place. And then when you stitch the next element to it, don't assume that the previous element was right, but just maybe check <laughs> that it looks like it's right. Um basically don't assume anything this star here it should have been well i mean i think now this star may be fixed but it was to the side so it was moved basically two stitches to the side so i started stitching one of these bits and somehow i thought it was the end rather than the beginning and i stitched it the other way than i should have stitched it basically i stitched it that way rather than that way so the whole star was shifted by two stitches yeah so okay so that i thought okay it's just two stitches i can fix this but then <laughs> then i counted off that star for everything moving so i stitch all this and i stitch this i think i even stitched the sheep i stitched the roof i stitched the house so all of that was shifted but then not just that i did exactly the same error on this star so this star should have been here yeah like literally next to the border but instead of stitching it this way i stitched it this way and then and then i counted everything underneath from this star so the whole house <laughs> was effectively actually shifted by six or seven stitches to that side and i was like well i would maybe be able to live with the gap but the issue is how am i gonna now fit it in the border <laughs> it was just such a headache the amount of frogging i was doing but i refused i was like i'm not frogging the house i'm not frogging it so then i figured i will amend the border to accommodate the error so i fixed i think did i fix the two stitches that were out initially oh i don't know it was very wrong it was so wrong it took a lot of thinking how to fix it but as you can see it is fixed it's wrong but it's fixed <laughs> i have now stitched all of the border and it met up and i managed to fit in the sheep because that was the concern that i was not going to be able to fit in the sheep but i've amended the border to, so i made it wider in some places and the house is too far so i, I put like a little star <laughs> to fill in the gap there's gonna be hearts as well here in the border i had to frog my hearts but there's gonna be hearts like this everywhere and i don't know i may put another little something here i don't know uh, but maybe it'll be okay um <laughs> this project has more errors than i can count 
it was meant to be square <laughs> it's no longer a square it's a rectangle now but hey ho <laughs> um so that took like half of my march stitching was trying to fix this and then i was so worried it was still going to be wrong that i had to finish the border to see if it's it was going to meet or not and then obviously I made another mistake and I had to frog some of the border again and then restitch it and eventually and then I wanted to see if the sheep will fit or not if I did my mass right because I was really cutting it like if I was one stitch out the sheep was not gonna fit so that took a lot of time in March but it's quite cute isn't it so that's also why my math is on the amount of stitches I did especially like for this specific project it's it's not really right because I didn't count all of the stitches I frogged it would have been hundreds if possibly even a thousand I don't know how many stitches I frogged total on this it, it was a lot then I restitched some then I had to frog them back out again um yeah so a lot of stitching went into this project, which is not going to be counted, but... <sighs> and I think that's the end um, of this episode. <laughs> the, on the bright note is we've saved it. We've saved the project. It didn't go to the bin. And I think it's going to be quite cute. So what it's going to say... Because my husband, he he's like, well, love is sheep. Oh, like he he's trying to guess what comes after this. <laughs> the, the actual, it's it's not. It doesn't say love is sheep. Um, it says love is here, and then there's like a little heart with the thing here, and then I need to obviously fill in all the hearts around. There was these lovely hearts. I had one heart stitched here, but I had to frog it out, so now it's missing. Uh, I didn't restitch re it yet. And then there's a lot of grass as well to stitch. Um, so I'm going to have to do that at some point. But I think it's going to be really cute. Um, uh, so yeah. So that's the story of a project that doesn't look anything like the original design at this point. <laughs> so I'm very sorry to the designer. I hope they never see this. What, how I butchered this, this very lovely project <laughs> because yeah yeah this is the worst I've ever done the worst mistake I've ever done and that was the biggest nightmare I've ever had in stitching <laughs> as what to do and how to fix it yeah but it's over now and there's a happy ending, hopefully. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> but now I have a border, so... And the sheep are there, so everything else I can fit in somehow. No. So it'll be fine. Um, <laughs> but I think this is a, a good place to, to stop. Um, I have here on my floor... Should I just show you very quickly? February Bird House is done so i told you i was gonna stitch both february and march i didn't i just stitched february so yeah just a quick quick glimpse at my birdhouse stitch along um for more details about the stitch along i should uh, link brenda the handwork maniac she's the one who i found out about the stitch along from and my friend edita who's stitching it um it's a really cute design um again i can just put quickly details about this one but i'm not gonna go into a lot of details now i just wanted to show you my february bird house um, because it is super cute um this is a very fun project and i recommend you stitch it <laughs> because it's really fun <laughs> really really fun to stitch um and yes, hopefully by the next video, I will have the next bird house for you to see. I'm running slightly behind, but it doesn't matter. Okay, who, who cares? It's all good. And on this lovely note, I've shown you almost everything, I feel. I've shown you most 
of my projects. Actually much more than I thought I was going to show you. In a bit chaotic, disorganized way. Again, I will really try to keep the editing to minimum. So if there's some information missing, I'm really sorry. But I just wanted to record this and to get this video out. So I will try to do that as soon as I can with as minimal effort as possible. Um, so that's it really. I hope you guys are doing okay. Um, please say hello. Uh, please leave me a comment. Um, you know, I love hearing from you. Um, if you made it all the way to, to the end, um, I don't know, maybe you can leave like a flower emoji because it's flowers is spring and flowers or a butterfly, something spring. I don't know. Mm. And yeah, let me know what's new with you. What what fun projects have you been working on or what what adventures you've had <laughs> that you want to share. Uh, I always love reading your comments. It's always fun. Mm. And yeah, that's all my updates. So I wish you a very good day. Um, I don't know what day it will be when you watch this, but I hope it's a lovely one. Um, lots of fun, crafty projects and um, I hope to see you in my next video. Okay guys, bye bye. Thank you.